Good evening, I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Yuki Washington. The guards and their families are top of mind as shoppers return to Macy's. They tell CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ryan Hughes it's very important to be aware of your surroundings. I think it shouldn't have happened. And, uh, I know the guys were doing their job. Michael Handler was one of the first customers to step back inside the Macy's at 13th and Market in Center City. Employees unlocked the doors and reopened the store at 11 Wednesday morning. Well, it was a somber mood inside and uh, enhanced security. Macy's tells CBS News Philadelphia more uniformed police officers have been assigned to this location. Two days after 27-year-old Eric Harrison and another security guard were stabbed after stopping a suspected shoplifter. Harrison died at the hospital. The second guard is still recovering. You have to be aware, you have to be vigilant. We found Eli Jules behind the counter at the Truffleist, a small shop set up inside Christmas Village in Love Park. He says retail theft is part of the cost of doing business in Philadelphia. And that is always going to be a thing, something to expect. Um, it is the holiday markets, it gets really crowded and it's you know, it's tough to manage the crowds. According to Philadelphia police, retail theft has been on the rise. There were more than 9,300 incidents citywide in 2021, more than 14,000 in 2022. And so far this year, the city has reported 16,891 incidents. We have to do better. It is impacting our commerce in the city of Philadelphia. This Macy's is in city council member Curtis Jones's district. He says he met with Philadelphia mayor elect Sherelle Parker Tuesday talking solutions to curb retail theft and presented her with 35 recommendations from a recent crime summit. When she hires the chief public safety officer, that will be their ruling guide to begin the journey of making Philadelphia a cleaner, greener, safer city. While announcing murder charges for the suspect in this case, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner says his office is asking the city for more funding for a task force to help crack down on retail theft. In Center City, Ryan Hughes, CBS News Philadelphia. And we will continue to follow this story. When we are not on television, you can always find the latest at cbsphiladelphia.com.